Hello, this seemed to be a really difficult thing to find out how to do, which was to animate a drop down uh, menu. I wanted it in my um, on my home screen so all the drop downs um, open smoothly. So a few different posts across the forums and I found out from um, Sergey, I think it was, um, he, he put a point, but it, it's not really, <clears throat> it's difficult to find that post. So here's a quick video on how to do it. Uh, so the first thing we put is a drop down, a uh, simple drop down toggling. And if you just go to the settings and change this close delay, this is going to be the speed at which you want the drop down to close. Um, so if we select um, 300 for now, now what that does is it just puts a pause. At the moment it's not animated, but it waits 300 milliseconds before closing. So we need that to happen. So on the drop down toggle, select the actual drop down element rather than the toggle. Um, and if you go to interactions, you'll find that because you've selected that outside wrapper, uh, you can select drop down, start an animation, and we're going to call this, I've already created it once, but uh, open test. So now we need to open the drop down. Uh, open menu. It's a little bit difficult to just keep the list open and then add the element. It's uh, so we want to add animate the drop down list. So select the drop down list, and we're going to give that an initial size of zero pixels, and that's going to be our initial state. And then we're going to give the size auto, so no matter how many links you have in there. And that will be 500 milliseconds, half a second. So that's that done. Now, when we close it, we need to make sure that the list is actually um, set to open the list. We need that to be uh, overflow hidden. I'd already done it on the previous one, but it will be set by default to show. So we need it hidden. So when it collapses, the links also uh, move away. So the close animation, uh, we're gonna menu closes, start animation, and we'll call that close test. And uh, we need to select the drop down list size zero pixels, and this can be whatever you set in the settings before. So this was 300 milliseconds, and then that is it. If we go and test that 500 milliseconds open, 300 milliseconds close. But it's important that you have that um, this set to whatever your close speed is. If it's set at zero, it'll just disappear. Um, you can have it longer, but uh, it needs to be the same. I uh, hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, uh, just send me a message on the forums, no problem.